Goodleap is a fintech focused on sustainability. And the problem we're trying to solve is 40% of carbon emissions come from decisions made in the home. And so what we're doing is we're bringing the banks that want to finance these assets at scale with installers that are installing these solutions and trying to learn how to communicate what these solutions can do in the home. And ultimately, the homeowner gets a zero down instantaneous financing where they can save money from the very first month to convert their outdated home to an energy efficient smart home. And so my idea with Goodleap was to create a platform that makes it easy and simple with total transparency for people to be able to finance these assets. So when you think about a simple digital first solution, how do you make it easy for that homeowner to be able to lower their carbon footprint, but make the preferential option to live more sustainably the economic option, where they save money from the very first month. And so what Goodleap does is they provide that simple front-end point-of-sale platform where that consumer can look at how much money can I save if I convert these outdated assets into electrified energy efficient assets, what's my carbon offset, what's my savings, and, and Goodleap provides that fintech platform. What is the biggest issue that you're seeing and how have you been working to fix that? Yeah, so there's three parties you have to educate. So let's start with the banks, financial institutions, sovereigns, um, insurance companies. They need to understand these are high quality assets. They're gonna perform where they're not gonna see high defaults. Uh, our default rates are less than 80 basis points, so less than 1%. And so the banks say, okay, if I can get a six, seven, eight percent return on these assets, it's predictable, it's boring of high quality assets, they'll lean in and they want to finance these assets in 40, 50 million dollar increments. So you have to create enough volume for the banks, you have to educate the banks on the asset class, and then create the pipes for them in an effort to exchange capital. And, and in our case, it's in forward flow commitments. Your company grew insanely during the pandemic, and I think one of the most interesting things that we've discussed is how you came to realize that these loans, the default rates, would stay at this reliable level um, despite people going through so much economic hardship. Uh, why was that the case? And talk us through your experience sort of coming to that realization. Yeah, so the reason the banks are very comfortable with the asset class is it's pretty simple. People don't want to pay more for electricity. So in our case, we help the consumer, the homeowner, fix their energy costs over a 25 to 30 year period of time. The homeowner feels safe about what their energy costs are going to be, and they pay less for electricity, period. Um, the home's more energy efficient. And so a big test during COVID was would we see higher default rates? Um, will people you know, continue to make their payments? And we haven't seen any increase in defaults or forbearances. So that was part of educating the banks. Now then, to your point, you have to educate the contractors. So the contractors need to be educated on, look, there's a better way to deploy whatever solutions, whether it's energy efficient HVAC, synthetic grass turf, uh, the smart thermostats, the variety of things you can do to lower your carbon footprint by using financing. Traditionally, they would ask the customer to use an 18% credit card or go to your local bank and ask them to finance it. Well, clearly the banks didn't know how to finance these assets and putting $30,000 on your credit card at 18% is not necessarily a good idea. And so the, the contractors are now learning how to use digital first solutions, use those digital first solutions, and they have an iPad, they have a tablet, they can educate the consumer real time on what the item is they can put inside of their home, what that looks like, what the carbon offset, what the savings look like, and then instantaneously with Goodleap, hit a button and provide final approval within three seconds for that consumer. Now the contractor likes that because they know we're gonna pay them right at point of installation. So they can manage their working capital, they can manage their cash flow a lot easier with Goodleap than they would otherwise. And then ultimately, you're educating the consumer. You can retrofit your home with better products. You can get rid of that sad, old, oil fuel based uh, heating solution with a beautiful new electric heat pump or electric solution and you can do it for no money out of pocket and save money from the very first month.